Hello everybody, Anagos of Gauls here, also in the and Creations, and today we're back in Half-Life 2, Episode 2, slash Gary's Mod, for some more maps, for this time, we're taking a dip into my MLP-based maps, uh, uh, but Frank most of them are quest reveals based, but, you know, details, details. Anyways, today we start in Applejack's house. This is my own sort of source interpretation of Applejack's house, with all the assets that I have. Here's Granny Smith's rocking chair. Quality build, I know. You can build all your IKEA furniture. Yeah, don't mind that. It was quality build right here. Let me just flip it back over so I can demonstrate how amazing it is. Okay, I load this. It rocks, kind of. Amazing, isn't it? Amazing. Anyways, some frame photos. These are just random GMod screenshots I took that I that mean, you mean, most man made, and I turned them into pictures. Don't mind them. Anyways, this is the living, living room slash sitting room. A lot of the shots happen right here. There's a window where Cheerilee would be, pre be peeking in. I think like Apple Bloom was puppeteering Granny Smith. I think that was like Family Appreciation Day. I think it was the episode. Come over here. Here's the kitchen. It's in, seen in several episodes where the Apple Family household's been seen. Here's my nice covered pot. Now that makes sense. Also, this is this is the face cabinet. Like that one joke in Cinemare Sins. It's a little shy if I am. It's a counter full of medicine, bottles, and cake. Yes, clearly. Cabinet, table, fridge. It's got a ceiling fan, which is nice. A door to outside. Now you may notice there's something going on outside, and I'll get to that in a, up in a bit. Anyways, door, can you open the other way, please? Thank you. So I can go upstairs. It is kind of bad. There is a reason why this map is basically canned, and there's a reason why. Anyways, it is the upstairs hallway where all the rooms are. Which I don't remember which episode showed the, the, their rooms. Anyways, so I don't remember which room is which. Here's a bathroom. It also looks all it looks very bland and samey. This is another reason why I got cut. I think this might be Big Mac's room, maybe. Not entirely sure. This right here could be Apple. No, I don't think it's Applejack's room. This also this wardrobe always falls over. Don't mind that. Anyways, I don't. That's not Applejack's room, because I think I think this is Applejack's room, right here. I believe the room's like a vanity right here. But I don't have any vanity models, so we will show. Okay, look outside. You see a bit of purple roofing. It's an exclusive texture. I've only used here, I think. There's a chance I may have used it somewhere else by this point. There's an empty room. This would be, be where a staircase would be, I think. But there's not. Use an our window. Let's head back downstairs. That's not downstairs. Head back downstairs. See the nice stairs. I clip these? Yeah, I did. Let's go to this back door. And now, in a little Apple warehouse place. I don't remember if this is a location from the show. It might be. Or if, if, this, if this is the location that exists, it's probably from one of the Equestria Girls medias, but I wouldn't remember which. It's got a nice shaking pallet right here. It's totally not harboring the Flim Flam brothers or anything. It's table right here that's kind of broken apart. Boop. Some more wood instructions guys. More tables with apples on them. Which these are also from the food and household add-ons prop by Chili. Or food and house and household add-on props. First food and food and household food and household props add-on pack by Chili. These are these apples from because I don't have any apples otherwise. 
Some apples, can I knock you over? Oh, almost. One more do it. I missed. One more do it. Yeah. Knocked one down. It's like partial dominoes. Which wouldn't work here. Anyways, it's back door over there. Shelf. Yeah, I don't remember it as many based on the official media. Anyways, let's, let's stop let's stop beating around the bush, stop avoiding the elephant in the room, and let's head outside. Let's get the double doors too. Head outside. And uh, here's the main reason why I cut I can this map. Because it looks terrible. Yeah, I'm not all that good at real houses, and this came out really terribly. I was trying to twist together the Equestria Reels version and the MP version of AJ's house into one cohesive building, but it, it didn't really work at all. You can kind of see it. The exterior is mostly based after the Equestria Reels version of our house. Here you get the main house, and over there is a garage barn. Where the rain moves of practice. Go over there and see. Applejack's garage where something's went down. The rain moves of practice. The apples have their cider party and all that. Yeah. yeah. His whole build is kind of crappy. I'm gonna be honest and be blunt about it. His, his, his build was so bad that I just canned it. This is all that remains. Also, square bush block. Still very heavy. You might be, you might be wondering you might be wondering why that is there. Well, that's because you may also wonder why why is there fencing all around the property? Well, basically. We are in the void. Yeah, this map is this map is so cruddy that I just threw it in the void. Yeah. This map was absolutely terrible, so I just threw it in the void. So we're just on a we're just on an island floating in the middle of the void sludge. I don't think I'll ever come back to this map. It's really freaking terrible. Maybe I'll try again one day. I don't know, but. This art incarnation right here will be permanently trashed because it's, it's terrible. It's bad. It deserves no mercy. Anyways. On to the next map. And then we come on to the early days of my, one of my most ambitious mapping projects. Now, a very long time ago, on a quest for your daily, I saw a post for somebody had made a custom CHS map, a Canterla High map, for the Killing Floor 2, I think, or was just Killing Floor. Anyways, someone made a, a, C, a, a Canterla High map for the Killing Floor 2. I, I look at the screenshots in the workshop, and it was like, uh, yeah, you tried, but like, I don't, I don't agree with it. It's like they had a good try, but it didn't look nearly enough like CHS. So because of that one moment of me on a quest your daily looking at somebody else's subpar work, you know, no, no offense to you, man, man, man or the lady, whoever you are, no offense to you. I know you probably put a good amount of effort into your level for killing floor, but that wasn't good enough for me. So then I vowed to make a cat on the high map for Gary's mod slash source filmmaker. And this right here was the first trial run for it. You say this is the demo, the prototype map. This is the gym. Sorry for the cut right there. Dry throat. Anyway, this is the prototype for my CHS map. This is the gymnasium of Canterlot High. The gym. I believe I made this whole map in like a day or like a week. One of the two. I made it in a day or a week. And this is the prototype proof of concept for my Canada on the high map. I made the gym the gymnasium by itself. See it is a gymnasium. I made it I made it as screen accurate as could be. 
It's got all the things. Got the floor lines. Got the bleachers. Got the ceiling speakers. Got the basketball hoops. Got the door. It's got this lever right here, which I told you the same lever was in the sand ship map before. Is where it originated from. You can turn out the lights like in uh, Friendship Games, I think. Third movie. And there's these buttons to deploy the deploy the bleachers. I don't know how CHS would deploy their bleachers otherwise. I'm a little bit curious about their mechanism. Also, don't mind the janky opening quote unquote animation. That just is how it is. That's that. There's a stage right here. There's also, you know, the gymnasium is also where they held the Fall Formal. The stage is where they announced the Fall Formal Princess thing. Let's then go back here. This janky little connection area. And now we're backstage. The cat, okay, there's cat walking, the ladder. Let's turn off the lights back here. Yeah, this kind of thing is expensive. Um, I'm having massive costs to be able to include turn off of the lights because the source works. Also, the geometry in the lever is a little bit broken, don't mind that. Hammer is just unhappy with this. Also, here's this one rope in the map. It's the one thing that's not stylistic. So, we got control console. Let's, uh, let's raise the curtain. Now, look at me, I'm in the battle of the bands. Doo -dee doo. I just like to play the piano a little bit, but I'm kind of not that good at it. I, like, I passively play the piano. I like it. It's my favorite instrument. Anyways, there's some other customization things here. So, like, you see here, it's very plain up here above the stage. Press this purple button. There's extra green banners. It's nice. Press this blue button. I get an extra rack to hold spotlights. Same things, turn those back off. Also, yes, there's a there's, yes, there is a City 17 ambience going on in the background right now. I use the city soundscape. Come back here into, into the closet. The closet where Sunset probably slept a lot of the time. Basketball hoop controls. Get over the basketball hoops. Yeah, it's been so long since I've been inside a school gym. Cause like I didn't take gym like in the last few years of schooling. I, did, I took other classes, more mind-based, like art and stuff. It's, so it's, been, it's been so long since I've experienced any of these kind of sort of things. And also, there's a little bit of stairs right here. And all the band stuff. Also, the, the main selling point of this map is the reflective flooring. Because this map is standalone, it's only just one room, I decided to give it a, a reflective floor, just because. So it's nice, you can see reflections in the floor. Nice. I brought out the floor polish for all you guys. Yeah, this map was a proof of concept for Canterlot High, is what I started with. However, though, it doesn't end there. Now, the development of the CHS map in full took quite a long time and had quite a few bumps, because a couple times the plan changed. Still, though, in the meantime, while I couldn't work on the full map, I made another little tech demo. For the full map. Here we are in the little office room. Got the CHS sectors mixed with realistic props. So welcome to the CHS parable. This is another little tech demo for the Candle on High map I made in the meantime, which is basically the office from the Stanley parable, but remade under the Candle on High aesthetic. Here's Stanley's office with a computer. And here's the first hallway. Now, I based this off the actual game. The Steam Steam release. The full the full Steam release. A little tech demo. Now, it doesn't have all the ending. It's basically just the level the level design in it. That's it. There's nothing else. So you can't go through the escape pod door. Try to open it. Oh, well, there's nothing here, just an empty room. Just ignore that. You see, there's a whole little see, see, sightseeing map. Well, so you could use it for, for scenes if you like. It's a tech demo. It has a CHS aesthetic, but it's not actual Canon High. Also, everything is just texture. 
because at this point in at this point in development, I didn't have any dedicated modelers to help me. I didn't know how to model myself yet. So I'm just working off of the textures that I made, plus the models I have. Include some Portal 2 models, like this door frame. It's very metal. Like, this is the kind of thing that makes you think of right, right, like about Portal 2's models, and how few material sounds there are. Do you think this, make, you think this door frame would make more of a dull sound, but no. A sharp metal. Anyways, got the full office here. You can go, you can go a lot of the ways you can go on the Stanley Parable. You can go this way. I think I think you go this way for the confusion ending. So then go along this pathway. We don't have an we don't have an, ad an adventure line to follow, so we're just going on our own steam. This our office right here. Let's walk along, dude, Lida. Here's an exit that we can't take. Go over here. Let's follow the pathways. And there would be a loop. There will be a, a loop right here that leads back to where the exit door is. But because I'm in Half-Life 2, I don't have the luxury of World Portal, so I didn't do that there. So I'll come here to the staircase. We do game logic is blocking us from going down. So instead, we go up. See, I know some of these doors should start open, but like, they're not because of technicalities. Any more blockages up here? We can't go further up. So instead, we go off this way. Little sequestered offices. Follow the edge. Follow the adventure line all the way through. Come on, this is, a, this is a little along the pathway office. It's kind of nice in the original game how it looks. Kind of moody. Here's now run to the yellow tiling. Still following the adventure line. It's done back here. This is a room where you have the swinging light, but here I just, I just have a blinking light. See all these boxes here. Go through the ominous red light room. Now we're in. This would this would be the mail file room. Where you file all the mail. An actual game, but here I, I still put lockers. It kind of makes it look like a school lo high school locker room. Also, from this from this room, I'll bring something up. I have actually seen this map used in the Source Filmmaker animation. There's like a Russian team of animators on YouTube, I forget what they're called. There's a Russian team of animators on YouTube, and they, and they made an SFM animation that uses, uses, that used this map, and they used this room in an animation. The thing is, it's, set, I think it's a song animation to the song that goes like, Love Me Like You Do. I don't know if it's the actual name of the song, but it was a song that... The animation used Spitfire and Soren in their little ship romance, and one scene took place here where Spitfire was hiding behind the lockers while Soren was chatting over there with Nara Wonderbull. I appreciate the, your usage of my map. It's like a bit of a weird use for it, but hey, I ain't complaining. Anyways, that was one thing. Here's a very important fern. Also, I, I use this room for the preview for the props pack for Sundance Apartment, which I'll cover in a later video. I use this room with a very important fern for a preview image. So then over here. So at this point in the Stanley Parable, you'll be, you'll be looped back to the main office. Like, how did that happen here? Well, basically... Eh? Huh? What just happened? Well, it's not just witchcraft. So yeah, it's not as smooth as it is in the actual game, but like, I did what I could there. Anyways, here's that one office with a broken open ceiling you can see into. I made it go into go into a bowl, but I don't, think you, I don't think you can go here in the actual game. There's not much back there. So I can come over here. Get this bit of also, you, you can you can enter you can enter door 420. But it's not an office, it's just, it's just a pass-through. There's no office here. Room 420 is just a hallway. I've seen another person make a Gmod scene back there. 
where they re they were recreating a scene from a series of unfortunate events with the Apple siblings in that hallway back there. It's a bit weird because you use the behind the scenes area, but hey, again, I won't judge. Anyways, now we're at the choice doorways. Stanley picked the door on his left. However, I am not Stanley, so I will go to the door on the right. Here's the pathway I built first out of the two when I made this map. I got these, all these little sign offices, they don't do anything. Come over here to the break room. Ah, uh, yes, the break room. I don't remember the narrator's full spiel about this room. A couple of pictures off the wall. A very nice break room, though. No time to dawdle, though, so let's keep moving. Now we're in this hallway. Here, there would be the door to that big maintenance area, but like, it ain't happening, Chief. We're not going that far with this map. So instead, go through this maintenance corridor to get back to the other side. But also, there's this. You may notice it goes a little bit more out of the cartoony aesthetic. This room looks a bit more real. So, exit elevator, huh? Now, where could this possibly take us? Back where we started, there is no escape. These little back pockets full of crates. I kind of like how these look. This is this an office thing? Anyways, though, so now we go to the other side. Except, well, there's a little bit of a problem with that. You see, the choice stores kind of also use world portals a little bit. So I have to do I had to do a little bit of a connecting corridor here to get back over there. So that door back there should have linked us straight here, which, you know, is not physically possible. Go back here. Door back at the choice doorway. So yeah, there's a little bit of war portally going on right in the choice doors. To make you more spatially aware. So here's the meeting room, but nobody's here. Where could they all be? Let's go talk to the boss then. So a big old chalkboard for projecting onto. And then... Did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. Crates, crates full of stuff here. It's very nice, I just ate that whole crate of batteries at once. There's also a wrench here. It's a mop bucket. Very nice. Anyways... We don't have time for the Majesty as the broom closet ending. So the boss is upstairs. Let's go downstairs though. Oh, I'm just red lighting. Now we're going down this stretch. Here's a car, it's suddenly bright, and I resume through this door doorway right here. These banners and decoratives. One, two, two point five, four. Half life show because I don't have a B texture to use. Anyways, use the office maintenance corner. Some med kit inside of a crate, inside of a wheelbarrow cart. It's a cart, I guess. And we're right back where we started. And go through it again. We'll just end up right back where we started again and again and again. I, f I forget what ending this is. This is not the insanity ending. No, I don't remember what ending this is. It's the ending that ends with Stanley dying. But anyway, so enough of that. By the way, if any of you, if any of you are wondering when I might play the Stanley Parable on my channel, well, you won't see it for a couple years. 
basically, and I'm trying to go for that font that go outside achievement. So you you won't you, you won't be seeing me play the actual standing up parable until like 2022. So keep your fingers crossed. Here's the uh, deluxe bathroom. Here's that. So guaranteed LP for 2022 or thereabouts. The standing up parable. Maybe even we'll get the ultra deluxe. That still isn't out of the time of this video. I wonder what's wonder what incomplete. Anyways. That right there is the boss's office, or otherwise known as the principal's office. But if we go this way... I assume with some more banners. And an elevator. Which we can actually use. Anyways, let's go see the principal then. And there's no one here. There's a piano though. I think this might actually be the same piano model used in the Stanley Parable for the boss's office. It's a nice piano though. Got a nice upright piano. There's not enough of those in the world. Boss's desk. Conspicuous keypad. A little display right here. No fireplace, just a computer. Picture of sunset and starlight, the best students, maybe. And they're out of any of that, though. So let's use this mysterious keypad. I'm kind of proud of my ability to recreate that doorway. Anyways, now we're behind the scenes. Ooh. stuff back here, and this would be where you access the mind control facility from, but like, not today. That's where the map ends. Anyways, there's one more little tidbit I'll show while I'm here. Yeah, I think I'll cost the video after that, because I've been here for a bit. I've been here longer than I thought it would. Anyways, let's just return back to the main office. Is now we're back here, back in this room where the confusion ending leads you back. Let's go over here, because the, the, the adventure line does lead you through this door right here. In a little room, we go this way. Now we don't have a monitor room this time, because that wouldn't make sense in the school setting. So instead, we have the mirror chamber. Yeah, in absence of an actual monitor room, I just have this random little mirror room, just because. But it put something of interest here. A little mirror of error said. Now, if I was in GMR, you could see my reflection, but I'm not, so. Who's a brain? Stain the mirror. Anyways, that's about it for that one. In the next video, we'll look at the full Canterlot High map. So, until then. My name is Andrew Zagos, also known as Kitchen Creations, and we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.